We are going to see some rain and really quite a soaking rain uh, out of this system. So you're taking a look here on your Vortex satellite radar. You can see Nate swirling there. You can see the cloud cover, but of course the rain uh, right now. We are looking at the current conditions and we are looking at uh, 85 mile an hour winds. Those are sustained winds. Right now it's moving north at 20 miles per hour. They're calling it 10 miles southwest of the mouth of the Mississippi River. So that is the location. This is basically where it made landfall. It's considered the greater New Orleans area, but I think a lot of people, when you look on the map, it would kind of be the part of, of Louisiana that basically juts out into uh, the Gulf. That's basically where it made landfall. You can see it here. So this is the latest track. You can see it moving inland quickly uh, becomes uh, a tropical storm and then just a remnant low. But that remnant low uh, moves into our area just in time for your Columbus Day. Uh, so we'll start to see some of that rain late Sunday, continues into Monday. And yeah, we could get a good soaking out of it. Now, of course, when we look at the cone, we almost also sometimes want to look at those spaghetti models to see if they're in agreement. Well, take a look. They are. That's the short answer. Most of them, yeah, do have them coming right to our area. So yes, we are going to see some rain from that system. We do have a pretty significant deficit, so we could use the rain. That's the good news. Take a look. We still have some hurricane warnings and tropical storm warnings that are in effect uh, until further notice. And of course, these are the big issues uh, with Hurricane Nate. Max winds 85 miles per hour, storm surge up to 11 feet, and rainfall up to 10 inches. Now, that's not what we'll see here, obviously, but we will see some significant rainfall. I'll tell you just how much and when coming up in your full forecast. Jessica? All right. Thanks, Elise.